13th of February, Monday. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is gold, Euro dollar Dow Jones video. Let's take a look at the monthly. As you can see, we're following all the way down. We said there was room to come back and this will pull back. That's a nice indecision buy. Any pull up is a reason for us to come down. As you can see, I'm also checking out the Fibonacci rates. Well, these are actually GAN rates, GAN ratios and on the pullback as well. We've got targets all the way down into there, which is 44, so which is 1769. And 1769 is going to be here, which is pretty much right there. Okay, so this zone is on the cards, as you can see. Okay, no problem. That's that. Okay, and I'm going to just push this this way a little bit more, and that's your zone there. So what we'll do is we'll take that into consideration as well because the PST level, so it's going to be a target for us. So any pull up is a good reason to push down. Okay, these were the astro hours for Friday. Okay. Astro hours. I talked about this level. If it comes here at Astro hours, I said you could sell, and this is where you should have gotten in. Okay, so the market comes back up to retest these levels and a push down, as you can see, and that panned out well. And we talked about targets there. Let's pull that. Let's turn this into a four hour chart so you can see it a little better while we've got this zone here uh, because that's going to be our target zone as well. Okay, so we can't. Um, just wait for the 1760 down here. Okay, there you go. Um, we got mid targets there as well, so we'll be looking for the market to come up here because the market's going to be moving in waves. Okay, so we want to be in that zone there. Okay, so that 1840 is going to be that initial push. This, as you can see here on the four hour chart, this is a zone here, and that's the last manipulation before the breakout. So that zone is on the cards for us as you can see also there's a zone here which broke that out and there's an indecision here so this is pretty crowded but we want to be following it all the way down to 1760 okay so we want to be pushing this whoops into the four hour zone here now today as you can see i'll go back to the one hour chart or the 15 minute doesn't matter what small time frame you're using do whatever works for you whatever you're comfortable with basically all right so if the market comes back up into an astro hour which i'm going to be putting them on okay let me get rid of that okay which will be up here or here on the weekly it's okay to push down okay that was a good buy kiss last week so market selling off from there was good astro hour sell down again if we go up again you can sell off again Okay, not a problem. Don't just blindly sell here though. You'll need to wait. If it breaks down, wait for the push up and then sell down. Okay. If it doesn't break down the low, then wait for a pull up in order to sell. Okay, I will also put the swing days for this as usual. Okay, so I'll leave this at the 15 minute um, chart frame. Let's put in the hours as well while we're at it. All right, so that's this is how it should look like, right? It's a 15-minute chart. Let me just tighten this up a little bit. Okay, and that's what it should be looking like. Let's get rid of these. And these are from Friday, so I'll keep those on. And these are for today. All right, so be mindful. And I'll put the swing day as well for gold, so you can track the swing day and the hour and the price trade on that day, which is a higher probability of success. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now with the euro dollar, these were the astro hours there, as you can see, not very priced, price uh, sensitive. Uh, there was a bit of a price here, slight up move, sideways, nothing really happening. This is not a good one. And as you can see on Friday, it was just soggy, basically, all right, until it came down all the way into the 715, from the highs into the 715 bar here which was 815 as the astro hours okay so let's get rid of these ones in the background okay as usual just put the astro hours in i won't line them up for everything um but 
we can now get rid of these and put in the new ones later on okay now what to do with the euro dollar so it's a new week let's take a look at the week we want to come down but on a pull up only okay so on the weekly where can we head off to 1.0742 60.15 1.0711 looking good here right on the weekly okay this is good let the market come up here okay and then we've got 07.44 here which is also okay alright so let's do that why because on the weekly that's the PST okay 0711 and that's the price so they're both okay for us to do if I turn this into a 15 minute chart okay so this is where we are so this is the break happening here what's causing that is there so this is not a bad spot okay so the weekly pivot as you know is always a good spot for us to be selling off let's get rid of that as you can see this did a good buy kiss as well exactly there and that's the astro hour there so once the good buy kiss was done on the channel the market just sizzled down so all you had to do was wait for that so 10744 is here this is not a bad spot as well uh, let's turn this into an hour chart because this might be actually the push that did it so on the pullback there and there we'll want to be selling okay there you go okay so pretty much there okay breaking that here so what we're going to do is we're going to mark these in this zone and there all right, there's a bit of a gap here. Be open-minded. Oops, be open-minded for that. Which is here. All right, so that's there. It may not come up because it's like pretty much filled up here. The market's been there, done that kind of thing. So this zone here is good. Weekly pivot is good at astro hours. All you got to do is align your astro hours, trade accordingly. The bias is downwards. We said we'd be coming down into this zone, looking like a runner. Any push up is good for us to be selling and pushing this further down. On the weekly, as you can see, we've got targets down there. So 0480, 0500 is on the cards. 0480, 0500 is on the card so trade with the astro hour and the swing days which i'm going to post on discord and take it from there us 30. now that those were the astro hours as you can see uh, and that was actually good also i talked about you guys taking this one um that's on the 10th of february which was there so that was like really good and then let's do this turn this into a 15 minute chart 